Timing out the rain showers, spotty hit and miss showers we go throughout the afternoon. Should be okay for Friday football frenzy. Maybe a few raindrops here and there. After midnight, that's when we're going to see the heaviest rain move through at least the Milwaukee area. Most of us getting about a quarter to a half an inch from that round of rain on Saturday. Lingering clouds in the morning. I think by the afternoon we'll be clearing things out with mostly sunny skies. It's just going to be on the sticky end and heading into your Sunday. Still have that southerly wind pumping in the moisture. Dry start to the day. Showers and thunderstorms will develop in the afternoon and evening. Some of those could be on the stronger end to even potentially severe. For today, though, 70 degrees. That's where all we're going to get to. Spotty showers and again, cloudy and windy overnight tonight. The focus of the heavy rain between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. An overnight low of 65. Some places may see up to three quarters of an inch, but the heaviest rain potential, I think, is shifting up into northern Wisconsin. So again, many of us about a quarter of an inch up to three quarters of an inch. Then tomorrow on your Saturday, 82 degrees with decreasing clouds. This will be the driest day out of the weekend, though it won't feel very dry outside. It'll feel incredibly sticky. And on Sunday, if you're headed out to the Pfizer Forum open house, 88 degrees. It's going to be warm and muggy. And again, that chance for strong to severe thunderstorms is possible, especially as we get into Sunday afternoon. So that severe risk right across southeastern Wisconsin. And the biggest threats for us are going to be large hail as well as the potential for some damaging winds and some potential flooding. But I think uh, hail and wind are going to be the big stories on Sunday afternoon. Stay tuned to the forecast as it will be changing that threat could go away. We'll hope cross our fingers for that. The muggy conditions not going away though. As we kick off next week, we're still stuck in the 80s before a cold front comes through on your Wednesday.